I got tagged by Robbie over at Frecky Fit Wolf. I would have been very disappointed, Robbie, if you wouldn't have tagged me. <laughs> Tags me all the time. Tracy from the Trials of a Long-Haired Girl on Tuesday says a Tuesday tag, and she um, pretty much always tags Robbie, and Robbie always tags me, and then we go from there. <laughs> so um, it's a fun tag. Today's tag is called um, All About Food. So I have the questions here that Robbie left in his description box. I am going to tag a new channel that I just started watching, um, a salty veteran. Um, he does a lot of uh, food things. I think he's on the blue plan. I'm almost positive it's the blue plan, but he's always showing recipes. So I'm going to tag a salty veteran. I'm going to tag Liz over at 23 points a day and Valerie Reese. So those are the three and I'll leave uh, links to their channels. So go over there and subscribe to them. Let them know that I sent you and see how they did with the tag. So let's get started. Number one, what did you eat for dinner last night? Last night we had boneless pork chops. I had like, it was like a four or five ounce chop, but I only ate half of it. I ate the other half this morning for my brunch. Um, I had some mashed potatoes. Oh, Jim's here. Let's see, I'll be right back. That was my husband, Jim. He doesn't, uh, he's not a big camera shy. He's kind of camera shy. But I'm having a cup of tea. See my cup? Showing my cup. Isn't that cute? Anyway, uh, so I had uh, the pork chop, uh, mashed potatoes. Uh, I make some frozen bread that I let rise, and then I cooked it uh, or baked it with a little bit of butter. And then I had broccoli and cauliflower mix and a glass of milk. It was pretty good. Um, I make my own dinner every night anyhow because Jim is a custodian at the schools. And obviously, the schools are closed. And so he was never here. He always worked afternoons. And so I always ate like light meals or something or leftover meals or, you know, I not a lot of prepare, you know, like a, not a lot of actual cooking was involved. And um, since we've been locked up in the house since March 12th here in Michigan, <laughs> um, I've been cooking a lot. So thankfully, not to break my arm, but I am a pretty good cook. Number two, if you could make one food calorie free for the next year, what would you choose? Oh, hands down, hands down, my uh, turtle cake. I have it every year for my birthday. And uh, last year when I was struggling, struggling, uh, I bought a whole cake for myself, sliced it up and put it in the freezer and with the intention of just having a slice a week. I ate the whole cake in a month. I got about 12 or 13 slices out of it, but no, I went crazy with it. But it's a delicious cake. It's a chocolate cake with buttercream frosting, drizzled in fudge and caramel, and then it's all over the top and then a few little nuts. It's delicious. It's my favorite, and I am going to have it for my birthday. I was almost tempted to order one uh, for Easter and go pick it up on Saturday because the bakeries are open, which I know, it's kind of weird. But, um, and I know it doesn't transfer on food, but I'm not even eating carryout food because I don't know that if the people making it are sick. I, I just worry. I just eat my own food. So, anyway. Um, number three, how often do you go to the grocery store? Well, you know, I would have told you in the past that I only went once a week. <laughs> no, it's not true. I probably went to the grocery store two or three times a week, easily. Easily, just to pick up here or there or whatever. Uh, now I do online shopping. I did an order two weeks ago. Um, and then I did one this past Sunday open. I'd get some of the stuff before Easter Sunday, but no, my, my pickup date is the day after Easter. So um, I've been to the grocery store since March 12th, zero times. And I've been to the grocery pickup one time. My family always made fun of me. I know I'm really long-winded. I'm sorry if you're new to my channel. I, I blabber a lot. Um, I always like when things are on sale 10 for 10, I buy 10. Uh, like when the butter was on sale, you know, you could buy five. I buy five. If the cheese was on sale, you can get seven. I got seven. Whatever it was. And then my refrigerator in the garage, they always told me it was like a little, um, like a bodega or party store. We call them party stores in Michigan. Um like a little corner store that you just open up the fridge and there'd be milk. I always, I have milk, I have pop, I have water, I have iced tea, I have extra jello. Anything that I didn't fit in my refrigerator in the house goes in the refrigerator in the garage. But anyway, um, 
that's ne neither here nor there. Uh, number four, do you make a list before buying groceries? Um, no, I pretty much know what I'm going to get. I do go on the uh, Kroger Click It and uh, pick out things for coupons because those are the coupons I use. But I pretty much know I get the same stuff every week. If you've ever seen my grocery hauls, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, list three things that can always be found in your kitchen. Well, if they, it's supposed to be food related. And unfortunately, it's kind of hard to find all of these things in my kitchen now. But in the past, you would have always found in my kitchen a bowl of fruit, a bowl of apples, a bowl of grapefruit, because I don't like cold grapefruit. I like room temperature grapefruit. So I'd have a bowl of uh, grapefruit, a bowl of apples. I'd have my bananas. Um, I'd have tomatoes on the counter. I always had berries in the fridge. But any. Do you ever use a slow cooker? If so, will you share a recipe? Um, I'm not a big fan of the slow cooker. The only thing I've ever cooked in the slow cooker is um, chili. And I think it should be in my recipe section. If it is, I'll leave the link down below so that you can go and see it. But um, I think that's really the only thing I've ever made in the slow cooker. I'm not a, you know, I'm home. I'm not, I don't cook, you know, like I don't, I, what I wanted, I cook it when I need it. And I don't need to put it in the slow cooker. Um, number eight, how often do you try new recipes? Hardly ever. I hardly ever use a new recipe. Um, I, I watch things on YouTube and I see that, um, uh, a lot of recipes that I do like, and um, I just, uh, I'm not, I think I'm a pretty good cook, but I'm not, a, like, Joan's Pointed Plate, I always refer to her because I'm always fascinated by her, her cooking, because she'll always come up with some kind of recipe or something that she can do, just throw together. Um, it just looks so easy. I pretty much, I don't measure, so like if I'm teaching my kids how to cook, they have to watch me cook because I don't, you know, I don't measure out a tablespoon of this or a teaspoon of that. I just kind of throw it in, and so they, they kind of learn that way. But um, I don't really try. I found a new app. I did a, a collab on it the other day, a Creative Ways to Save Money. Um, it's called Super Cook by Ingredients, and I think I'm going to start following some recipes on that. But um, I'll leave a link to that video, too. So, um, what is the most delicious meal you make? Hmm. Oh, it said meal or meals. Once again, I think that my, my family seems to think I'm a pretty good cook. So I think I am. Um, my most delicious meal. I always say I call, I'm making a mean roast. I always call it a mean roast. I do a really good roast, um, a beef roast. And, um. And I, I make a good spaghetti sauce, although I've, I have a hard time narrowing it down to two people because Jim always says that we could feed the whole world with my pot of spaghetti sauce because I, I go crazy. But um, I don't think that. I think the only thing, I'll tell you what what's my worst meal. That'd be better. My worst meal is meatloaf. I cannot make a meatloaf to save my life. It always falls apart. I don't pack it tight enough or I put too many crackers in it, or I don't put enough crackers in it, or I put too much ketchup or not enough ketchup. Um, it's the worst. It's the absolute worst. And my um, kids never like my meatloaf either. But uh, Jim makes a really good meatloaf. So when we have meatloaf, Jim makes the meatloaf, and then I make the scalloped potatoes, and then we go from there. Number 10, share at least one thing that is currently in your kitchen, even though you don't like it. Huh. What's in my kitchen that I don't like? I don't know. Everything in my kitchen I like. I have a, um, you know, I'll, I'll, you know what I'm not a big fan of is my air fryer. I just never can get anything to turn out in my air fryer. It's on the kitchen counter because I thought if I had it on the kitchen counter I would use it more. But um, no, I don't. I, I don't use it that much. I should use it more, but I don't. Um, but other than that. Can't think. I mean, I have a blender, and I have an Instapot, and I have a slow cooker. I have all of those things, but uh, yeah, I would say my air fryer. But anyway, those are the 10 questions. Um, I am going to, once again, remind you that I tagged a salty veteran, uh, Valerie Reese, and 23 points a day. I'll leave the links to their channels down below. Obviously, Robbie's link and Tracy's link, uh, Trials of the... Uh, 
for uh, Robbie's is uh, Frecky Fitwolf and Tracy's is the Trials of a Long Haired Girl. And um, the links to the two videos that I wanted you to check out. So um, thank you, Robbie Sparkles. I, I like to call him Sparkles. He just seems so sparkly to me. I just, uh, just he's sparkly. Anyway, uh, thank you once again for tagging me. I'm looking forward to getting tagged again next week because I'd be, I told him I would be extremely disappointed if he didn't at least tag me. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit that like button, and share it. And stay safe. Stay home. Stay hopeful.